I guess I've gotten stuck on stupid. I've forgotten how to work my mic or something. Hold on, people. Hello everyone, hello viewers. I thought I would just come on and uh, do this pay-per-view. Um, you know, we got a lot of things going on in the world. Um, a lot of things going on in the world, a lot of things that are maybe, you know, stressful. I know there were some things that were, you know, a bit stressful for me, so when that happens sometimes I just like to get on and uh, put on my broadcast and just you know just let it go and we do have uh, one heck of a lineup here tonight we got um, we got a lot of great matches lined up um, so I don't think we should waste any time. I think we should just, you know, dive right into it. Hope all my viewers and all of my subscribers are uh, are doing well out there. I know life can throw many curveballs, a lot of things that we don't see coming, a lot of things that we know come, but we don't want them to because you know of how hard those things will be so but all we can do is keep moving forward right so without further ado this is the UWF back down pay-per-view 2021 I really hope the stream uh, plays good I bumped up the uh, quality I just bumped up the quality you know so hopefully we won't have any issues with the stream or you know when we when we play it back so let's do it guys
was so looking forward to these ladies going head to head, toe to toe. Medusa against Alexia Lovecraft. Yes. Alexia Lovecraft has dominated every woman here in UWF. But I don't know if she'll be able to do that with Medusa. Medusa has been on uh, a reign here too. So I think tonight, Alexia Lovecraft better watch out. The following contest is an Extreme Rules match. Making her way to the ring from the United Kingdom, the Saint Medusa. Medusa making her way to the ring. About to face one of the top women here in UWF, Alexia Lovecraft. And man, Medusa looks ready. No fear. This girl right here has so, so much potential here in UWF. Medusa is uh, taking the UWF by storm rather quickly here in the women's division. And her opponent from parts unknown, Alexia Lovecraft. Something that we rarely see here in UWF, it's Alexia Lovecraft Unmasked. She's not afraid to show herself to the world. I mean, she is rather beautiful, so I mean, why not? Never trust a woman that looks like that. You'll end up with a knife in your back. That's for sure. Never trust a woman that looks like that, gentlemen. Alexia is looking ready. Medusa looking ready. Let's go. Referee calls for the bell. Lovecraft tries for a clothesline, but Medusa had it scouted. Nice reversal there. Alexia, oh, with a knee right to the face. A nasty knee right to the noggin. Medusa puts Lovecraft down and a sharp kick to the back. Another sharp kick to the, to the back of the neck there. And a spinning neck breaker. Nicely done by Medusa. Medusa is controlling this match thus far. First match of the night. And a German suplex. And another German suplex by Lovecraft, which slowed Medusa down. I made a few adjustments to the ropes. I hope you all likes, because I likes. Medusa elbowing her way out of the submission. And heavy stops. 
to the chest. This is what I would call a perfect match for uh, a perfect first match to start the night. Oh, and a nasty power driver by Lovecraft. Medusa gets out of it with. Nope. Lovecraft making it look easy. Making it look easy. Uh oh. Medusa put that sharp kick right to the back. Medusa looking for it. And going for that DDT. Both these ladies have DDTs. Nasty ones at that. And Lovecraft gets out of it somehow. Medusa can't believe it. They got this crowd hype already. Lovecraft doing what she does best. Going to get a weapon. And with a sledgehammer. The match spilling out to the outside of the ring. Nice reversal there by Medusa. Medusa, oh, puts her down right on that concrete. There's just only that damn mat out there protecting her. This match has gotten ugly already. Look there. Oh, the power driver. Lovecraft is out to do some major damage here tonight. But Medusa is fighting back with everything she's got. Yeah, you guys get you guys better get out of the way. You guys better get out of the way because these these women are not playing out here. Knees right to the chest by Lovecraft. They got this crowd going nuts. Oh my goodness, plants are down. And now Medusa following up with knees. And Medusa with a knee right to Lovecraft's face. This first match is completely out of control here. Back and forth. Medusa running Lovecraft's head into the ring post. And goes for it again. Lovecraft cannot take many more of those. Her back has to be her back has to be in so much pain right now. And these are going for the cover. Nope. Only a two count. Lovecraft is in trouble. Lovecraft is in big trouble here. Uh-oh. What is this? Lovecraft is in big trouble here. She is in deep, deep doo doo. Medusa from across the ring. Run drop kick. I think it's over, folks. I think it's over, folks. No! Lovecraft somehow kicks out. And Medusa can't believe it. Close line. Following up with another close line. And a drop kick by Medusa. Incredible. 
incredible first match we are witnessing. Lovecraft going back out to get another weapon. What is she looking? What is she doing? Lovecraft, what does she got? She has the table. My goodness. She's looking to do some major damage. Oh, and a power bomb right on that table. I think this is over. No. Medusa kicks out. The referee can't believe it. The crowd can't believe it. The referee can't believe it. I can't believe it. No. It was almost over. It was almost over. I don't think these women have much left. They just went full steam ahead from the opening bell. Oh, uh oh. Curve stomp. I thought that was the. I thought that was it, but no. They're still going back and forth. Uh oh. That could have done it right there. Medusa just hit her move. Two. Unbelievable. She just beat the Red Queen. What a match. What a match. Perfect way to open up back down. Here is your winner, the Saint, Medusa. To the women with the championships, I think y'all better watch out for this lady right here. Because... She ain't playing no games. That's what I call an instant classic. UWF World Tag Team Championships up for grabs. I do want to start adding my commentary on here. You know, some days I just, you know, some days you just don't be feeling it, man. You just be like, just, just let it fly, man. Just let it fly. But we're going to start getting it in like we're supposed to. Because, you know, commentary can be fun. It can be fun, you know. You just basically get on here and you just talk about the wrestling and you talk about, you know, life and you talk about all your issues. And I guess it can be very therapeutic, you know. But uh, I don't have anybody watching this right now, so like... But eventually people will watch it. So it ain't like I'm, you know, talking to myself. Even if it's going to be like six, seven, twenty people that ends up watching this. The message is still getting out eventually, you see. And that's all it is. That's all it is. Tag Team Championships up for grabs. This one's going to be a doozy.
Nebula One. This tag team is truly amazing. I really think they have a really big chance of walking out of here with those tag team championships. I really believe that. The Chimera brothers have got a challenge ahead of them if they want to keep those belts. UWF World Tag Team Champions Walking to the ring as if they own the place Walking to the ring as if this is their lair Walking to the ring as if this is their yard Walking to the ring as if they're badasses The belts look so fine, don't you agree? Don't you agree? What the hell? What the hell is she saying? She can't even get her. She can't even get her shit right, man. She can't even get her shit right, man. I think she's drunk, man. She drunk, man. At a combined weight of 485 pounds, they are the world, the samurai, and the samurai. Yeah, she's drunk. She, don't mind her. I, I told her not to come to work like that. I'm sorry. I told her not to come to work like that, but she insists on doing it. I, I apologize. I decided to make the belts more traditional again. I don't want this to be, you know, this is, we don't want this to be like a joke, you know. We want the championships to actually mean something here in UWF. Man, he's starting out aggressive for the year. Uh, is that what? Shingo? Or is that Jin? Well, uh, either way, maybe the one is not uh, faring well here so far. Oh, yeah, that's Shingo. Little clothesline there. No, it comes back. Whips him to the... Oh, man. Heavy kick right to the side of the head. All right, Shingo gets out of it there. Nice reversal. Whipping him to the turnbuckle. Going for a double team move. Uh oh. Ouch. And Nola just uh, picked up half of his lunch there. Jen going for the arm bar. Arm bar locked in. He has nowhere to go. Trying to get out of it. You can tell he is still feeling the effects from that kick to his gut. And he comes back with a nice hurricanrana. Oh man. 
The fists are flying tonight. Has him locked in. Locked in, you know, like all of us has been for the past year. In counting. Fifteen months to flatten the economy. <coughs> I mean, <coughs> whoops. You just can't say certain things, people. You just can't say certain things. Uh-oh. Orion with a nice close line. Orion Star drop kick to the back. Falls over the knee right to the face. And yes, I am a real person. Uh, thank you for the downloads for Carrie Diaz. Every time I upload her, she gets a lot of uh, downloads. I'm really happy with the uh, the newest Carrie Diaz that I uploaded on there. Very happy with it. So chances are that that will be the one that stays. And if anything, I'll just upload, you know, like manager attires or just different kind of attires, just. You know, just for fun. We need to have fun. Adults have forgotten how to have fun. People. What are they doing here? Okay, he tags back in his brother. Around with a nice reversal there. I thought he was about to go for a high risk maneuver, but no, he tags in Nova. And a hurricane run. Shingo comes right back. Nova comes right back. Shingo comes right back. Oh, elbow. Right to the arm. Suplex City. Suplex City. That's it? Nope. Oh, and he gets the elbow for his troubles. Elbow right to the smash. High wrist. Beautifully done. And he goes for the cover. Two. No. Only a two count. And over getting frustrated. Oh. Okay, he miscalculated that one. He miscalculated that one a lot. <sighs> Shingo misses that clothesline. Oh no, don't do this. Please get back in the ring. I thought I turned those off. Please get back in the ring. There you go. Come on. There you go. I also uploaded a, uh, a new superstar called Supreme onto the Community Creations. Ooh, <laughs> what a cheap shot by Jim. What is this? Oh! Now 
And now they're trying to make Orion expand his launch. Here he goes. Here he goes. Oh, me right to the head. Back and forth now. Nice exchange there. Nice exchange. Jin now not giving an inch. Oh, Ryan comes back. Orion Star tried to go for a snap suplex there, but it didn't work. Jim looking for it. Jim looking for it. DDT. Somebody get that man some Advil. They almost retained the titles there, but it was not to be. Jin just taking everybody out. Anybody that he sees. He's like, anybody I see, oh, you can get it. And now we're back in the ring. Now working on that leg. What a crazy match this has been. Nova looking for it. Oh! Elbow right to the face. I think this is it. This could be it, folks. We have new champions. We have new tag team champions. I knew he wasn't getting up after that one. We have new UWF Tag Team Champion. Is that a sign of things to come? It usually is. Here are your winners and the new undisputed world tag team Noah and O. Ryan. What a win. Congratulations to Nebula One. And here we have another no holes barred match. It's been hardcore heaven all over again. I seriously don't know why I added all these hardcore matches. Maybe I was just... I don't know. Maybe two bar was feeling hardcore. I just, I guess I just made up a new word. I guess I was feeling hardcore. Amber Van Sice has quickly made her mark here in UWF. Quickly showing everybody what she's made of.
And of course, Jessica B already made her mark here in UWF. She's one of our UWF legends. Can Amber Van Sice get past Jessica B here tonight? Making her way to the ring from Winnipeg, Manitoba, Canada, Amber Van Sice. This girl has lots of wrestling skills. She can mix it up in the ring and that's what makes her dangerous to opponents to her opponents. And her opponent from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, Jessica B. One of our UWF legends. Jessica B, she has been with us for years now, always rising to the occasion, always doing more, doing more than the other ladies in the locker room, that's what sets her apart. She puts in the work. Let's hope WWE 2K22 is uh, something worth playing. Jessica B starts it out with a booty bump. Starts it out with a booty bump. Using that booty. <laughs> Snap suplex by Van Sice. So it's gonna be whipping her to the turnbuckle. Irish whips her to the red corner. And a DDT. So on back. She's looking to put in some damage here. This could be gets out of it. Hauls it up nicely with a drop kick. Right to the face of Amber Van Sice. Jessica B tries for a quick cover, but it's not to be. Not yet. Oh, and a knee right to the face. That's uh, that was an interesting uh, offensive move by JB. JB has lots of uh, interesting offensive moves, as a matter of fact. Van Sice coming back, double knees right to the back, nicely done. And then Jaw Jacker plants her down. They have been somewhat evenly matched here so far. Sharpshooter. By JB. Van Sice gets out of it. And a German suplex. I'm telling you, all these matches here are just... They are top notch tonight. She's locking in that ankle lock on JB. 
JB has nowhere to go. She gets out of it. JB takes her to the ropes and whips her back. Nicely done. Jaw Jacker. Oh! Plants her down. Going for the cover. The referee was in Dreamland, but uh, he got down there eventually. But I understand he's getting, you know, he's getting a little older. He's getting a little older. Drunk slowing down, you know, drunk scene moving like they used to. It sucks, but you know it happens. Uh oh. I thought JB was about to give up for a minute there. Go for the cover. No. The crowd is hyped for this one. Alice whips it to the outside of the ring. Van Sice has her. Dumps her right on the right on the ring apron. Back and forth again. As they take the action back into the ring. JB has a submission. Nope. Van Sice, double knees to the back. My goodness. My goodness. JB with a DDT. Could that be it? No. Van Sice gets out of it. I told you she has a lot of uh, interesting offensive moves there. Van Sice has her. No, she doesn't. JB elbowing her way out of it. And a super kick out of nowhere. Could this be it? No. Amber Van Sice will not give up. She will not give up. Jessica B with an interesting suplex. And she goes to the top rope. She's looking for it. No! Ben Sice catches it. And a body slam. That was not a nice landing for JB. As the ladies go back and forth. JB. Oh, with another DDT. Could this be it? No. She kicks out. And Jessica B is in utter disbelief right now. She was in disbelief. Follows it up nicely with a booty bump. These ladies going out of here. Dumps her on the top rope. Jessica B trying to put it away. Nope. Oh my goodness. Nope, nope, nope. Going for the cover. It's over. 
That match could have gone either way. That match could have gone either way. Amber Van Sy somehow survived everything. Jessica B gave it her all, but in the end, it just was not enough. Here is your winner, Amber Van Sy's. This woman is a force to be reckoned with. Watch out, locker room. I guess this will be the second second title defense of the night. Second title up for grabs. contest is a no holds barred match and it's for the undisputed women's european championship
looking Devi Taki. Devi Taki looking ready. She's like, come and take it, Ruin. Yeah, maybe we can get some announcements going without them just uh, starting the match attacking each other. So far, so good. Devi Taki has said tonight that she intends to make a fool of Ruin. She says she's going to make sure that Ruin never ever challenges her again. But she may be eating her words here tonight. Introducing the challenger from Spain, Quinn. Introducing the champion from New York, she is the undisputed women's European champion, the Queen. This is it, women's European Championship match. Ruin getting ready. Debutaki getting ready. Ruin starts it out with a nice elbow. Debutaki returns the clothesline against her. Look to the turnbuckle. Both of these starting out very aggressively here. Now Devi Taki. Now applying the pressure. Ruin letting her know that she is not intimidated at the least. And goes for a suplex. Debbie Taki rolling out of it. Follows it up with some nice shots right to the head. Now both ladies going head to head here in the middle of the ring. Oh my goodness. How's that for a bit slap? Now Debbie Taki. In a bit of trouble here, but she kicks out. Back and forth. Now Debbie Taki in a little trouble. A lot of trouble. Now Ruin going in for some HLA headbutt. Everybody likes a little, I mean, you know. Debbie Taku comes back. Uh oh. She's going for that DDT. And she hits it. You know what she's looking for now. 
RKO. Could this one be over already? Roughly down for the count. No. She survived. You can see Debbie Taki is trying to keep the pressure on here as much as she can. Now Ruin coming back. Ruin. Going for a suplex. Now she's looking to end this one. She ends she hits this. Oh! A vicious backbreaker onto Debbie Taki. And Debbie Taki gets out of it. Debbie Taki needs to do something. And she kicks up. Close line. Amazing comeback here by Debbie Taki. I thought it was over. Oh my goodness. You know what she's going for. What is she doing? She's going to use Ruin's own move against her. She just used Ruin's own move. Can she end the match with it? Two, three, she retains. That match was short and sweet. Ruin just couldn't get it done here tonight. Debbie Taki was too much. That match was short and sweet. I think this match is going to be epic, folks. Triple that match. UWF European Championship. Kaz Aoki. Flyboy. Figueroa. And the UWF European Champion. 
James Mack. It's all come to a head tonight. This is it. I think this match is going to be epic. All three men, high flyers, all three sufficient in uh, technical wrestling. All three not afraid to take it up to the air, put it down on the mat. The whole nine. So this match should be very, very interesting. Introducing the challenger from Osaka, Japan, weighing in at 215 pounds, Case A. O. Keith. Kazayoki, very proficient in martial arts fighting. Kazayoki, very proficient in technical wrestling. Kazayoki, very proficient in style and fashion. As you can see by that big silver chain around his damn neck. As you can see by the designer sunglasses as you can see by the designer gold football padding or whatever you want to call that Kazayoki the king of tiger style Flyboy Figueroa now coming to the ring. And introducing the challenger from Costa Rica, weighing in at 220 pounds, Flyboy Figueroa. Flyboy Figueroa, very, very troubled upbringing, very hard upbringing, hard childhood. He, uh, he's not afraid to take it to the air, not afraid to dive out of the ring, not afraid to dive inside of the ring, very proficient in technical wrestling. will work for food and will wrestle for food also now everyone awaiting the UWF European Champion Introducing the champion 
from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, weighing in at 280 pounds, he is the undisputed European champion, the Nightmare King, James Mack. All three men have been waiting for this match. This is a very important match for all three. Because it has been such a long time in the making. And it's finally here for all of them to prove themselves. Now we will see who really deserves to walk out of here with that championship. Many don't feel that James Mack has earned it, but he's going to try to prove them wrong here tonight. Referee showing the prize, and we're about to get ready for the match. Let's do it. Wait, Cass slides out of the ring in the beginning here. James Mack just tried for a crazy uh, elbow move there. All oh, these guys are about to get crazy. Nope. Now the man backing down. James Mack. Goodness. It looks like Kaz is over there waiting for some kind of opening. I guess he finally changed his mind. Oh, and a sharp kick right there to Flyboy. Flyboy. Oh, what a body slam. Falls it up nicely with a moonsault. James Mack comes back with a kick right to the face. And uh, yeah, Flyboy has to roll out a little bit, you know, after that one. Everybody has a plan until they get kicked in the face. Live boy back in the ring, looking to get some revenge. And a snap suplex. Nicely done by Flyboy. Kazayoki coming right back with these shots. Nope. No man is backing down here tonight. Fly boy with a nice drop kick right on the apron. <laughs> James Mack letting Flyboy know that I can dish it out too. I can dish it out just as well as I take it. Nice reversal there by Flyboy. As Kaz gets back into the action. Oh, the DT. Kaz Aoki has been cut. His concrete, I mean, his face hit that concrete out there. And there was only that damn padding protecting. This match is getting ugly. As Flyboy sends uh, James Mack right to the, the ring post there. And now James Mack is going to take a little nappy nap.
Flyboy can't decide what weapon he wants to use. I guess he's gonna go for it again. Oh, he grabs the ladder. I really wasn't wasn't wanting all these matches to be hardcore matches. I don't I don't know why I did that. Maybe I just think I don't know. And another shot right to the head. Oh my goodness. James Mack, he is trying to hold on to that belt. Because these other two guys are hungry. The referee waiting for them to get back in the ring. The match can only end inside of the ring. Super kick right to the face. I felt that one. The AI uh, having a little trouble getting back in the ring. Damn artificial intelligence. What is artificial anyway? Uh oh, Flyboy. Flyboy going for the Kudo Driver. And he plants him down. Flyboy trying to win that championship. Two, no. Only a two count. As James Mack gets back into the ring. Oh, he made him pay for that one. James Mack plants him down. He made him pay dearly for that one. It's over. James Mack retains. Incredible. I guess he just proved that he deserves that belt, huh? He just proved to everyone that he is the rightful owner of that European title. Okay, James Mack, we see you. We see you. We see you, Mr. James Mack. UWF World Heavyweight Championship now up for grabs Tank Harris 
Nick Virtue. Nick Virtue is going to have to survive the power of Tank Harris, but the advantage goes to Nick Virtue when it comes to, uh, I'd say, st strategic planning. Nick Virtue can anticipate what Tank Harris will do. Nick Virtue is a smart fighter, and that's what led him to a lot of victories. Tank Harris cannot just rely on his butte here tonight if he wants to take home that UWF World Championship. The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the Undisputed World Heavyweight Championship. Introducing the challenger from Stone Mountain, Georgia, weighing in at 280 pounds, Tank Harris. Introducing the champion from Brooklyn, New York, weighing in at 237 pounds, he is the undisputed world heavyweight champion, Nick V. <clears throat> Tank Harris in the blue corner, Nick Virtue in the red corner. Now the man can rely on their uh, tricks if they plan to survive for the night. Tank Harris starts out with a big clothesline. It looks like Nick Virtue is starting off smart here tonight. Trying to go for the legs as a weakness. Nick Virtue with a jaw jacker.
Nice follow up there. Nick Virtue is on tonight. And another big close line by Tank Harris. Big shot right to the head. That one hurt. Chain wrestling now. Tank Harris, goodness. Looks like he has a big advantage over Nick Virtue right now. Nick Virtue fighting back. See, I told you he plays smart. Oh! I think he's going to feel that one in the morning. What is this? Power driver! That one's going to slow Tank Harris down a lot. It's only been three minutes into this matchup. And we've already seen... A power driver. Nick Virtue now going to attack with Tank Harris. I think he's trying to put it away quickly. Tank Harris back up on his feet. Uh oh. Big splash from between the ropes. Nick Virtue is in trouble again. The power of Tank Harris. Going in for the cover. Nick Harris, I mean, Nick Virtue doesn't even want a chance. A one count. As you can see, Nick V trying to play it smart. But well, he needs to do something here. He's tuning up the band. Going for that super kick. Could this be it? It was almost over. Uh-oh. That may have been a little premature on Nick Virtue's part, but he's gonna use the comeback anyway. Nick Virtue has just weakened Tank Harris. But can he follow up here? And what an elbow. Nicely done. He just needs to keep him in bed. Nick Virtue wisely rolls outside of the ring. As he is against a hungry competitor here tonight. Both men battle on the outside of the ring. Back and forth. What is Nick Virtue doing here? I think he's going to try to put him away. I think Nick Virtue is going to try to put... Take us away in a big super kick. I think that's it. So, nope. Tank Harris somehow kicks out. And uh, Nick Virtue is a little bit in uh, disbelief here. 
but the match continues. Uh oh. Take yours! Puts him down. One, two, no! Nick Virtue somehow kicks out. Uh oh. Tank Harris wants that championship belt. Follows it up with a leg drop. Nick Virtue needs to do something here. This match is over. Tank Harris really squeezing on that neck. Nick Virtue has nowhere to go. But he's still trying to get out of it. He gets out of it. And another atomic drop. Can he follow up? Nick Virtue going to the top. This can be the last shot he has. And he misses that big elbow. Power bomb by Tank Harris. Tank Harris is really busting uh, Nick Virtue up here. Plants him down again. Could this be it? Can you believe the resiliency on Nick Virtue? Tank Harris is getting frustrated. Tank Harris. Nick Virtue has unbelievable will and stamina. And he's going to try to go for a suplex. And he puts him down. He is just out of control here. Going for the sharpshooter. Take care, let's get out of it. What a match. Super kick. Out of nowhere. Nick Virtue retains. What a match. Every match here tonight. Incredible. That was an instant classic. What a match. Tank Harris tried to put him away there, but he couldn't do it there. Tried to go for that. Tried to put him away with that sharpshooter. Here is your winner. Undisputed World Heavyweight Champion, Nick V. Nick Virtue, the rightful owner of the UWS World Heavyweight Championship. Wow, what a classic.
So, after the last pay-per-view, Jessica Bell earned her spot in the main event in this pay-per-view. This match, I don't think it's going to be an easy feat. Jessica Bell, Christy Laurent is a very, very dangerous opponent. Jessica Bell is going to have to keep her eyes open at all time in this match if she wants to hold on to the women's championship. Christy Laurent is very technical. Christy Laurent can also uh, pull out surprising moves that you wouldn't expect. Where the advantage goes to Jessica, Jessica Bell is not afraid to play dirty. Christy Laurent not wearing traditional attire tonight. She looks like she's ready for battle. Christy is ready for glamour and she's ready for battle. Now the UWF Women's Champion coming to the ring. She has been dominating everyone ever since she made her return here in UWF. She letting everybody know that she the queen bee round here. the Queen Bee of UWF. Introducing the challenger from Paris, France, Christy Laurent. Introducing the champion from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. She is the undisputed women's champion, Jessica Bell.
this is it the main event of back down the women's gold on the line let's do it Christy Laurent goes in hot and she, I think she's she's gonna pay for that one Jessica Bell will take advantage of any mistake that you make As you can see now, things are not starting off good for Miss Laurent. As Jessica puts her down again. See, she's just gonna punish her just for making that mistake in the beginning of the match. Oh no. This is not starting off good, folks. Now Jessica just punishing the challenger. This is not good. Ow, the spine buster. Christy Vermont showing some heart. She's showing that heart. And another kick right to the back. Goodness. Now she's going on the offensive. Of Miss Bell. Yeah, she better do something. Miss Bell puts her down again. Goodness. The women's champion did not come here to play around here tonight. I think she wants to go home and get her a steak. Cause she is not joking around. As this match is starting to really look like a mismatch here. Jessica Bell. Oh, plants her down. You know what she's looking for now. Nope. Reversal by Christy. Challenger can't keep making those kind of mistakes against Jessica Bell. She's gonna pay for it every time. She takes her up to the top rope. The things are not looking good. Look at her, she's just showing that nasty streak. Move out of the way, Raph. She just wants to inflict damage. That's not going to do any good talking to her, Raph, so don't even try. Goodness. Now she just wants to inflict as much damage as she can. Just for fun. The romp blocks it once again. Go for the cover. And a kick out. Christy Laurent going in for those knees once again. And she's going Jessica Bell just making this look easy here. Christy Laurent. Nice reversal. Bell kicking out again. She said no chance. No chance. No, folks. Hang on. Hang on.
Hopefully I got rid of uh, any interference. I will be uploading these matches individually so you don't have to worry about missing any of the action. Christy Levant really fight now. Bell back up on her feet. She missed that one. These ladies giving it all they got here. What is this? And a nasty neck breaker. It looks like Jessica Bell is just trying to exhaust Christy Levant as much as she can. Could this be it? Oh, what a DDT! Ruffy down for the count. It's over. The champion retains. What a performance by Jessica Bell. She's showing everybody why she is the Queen Bee. Here is your winner and still undisputed women's champion, Jessica Bell. What a night. What a pay-per-view event. Every match tonight was an experience. Every match tonight. Every match tonight gave you a show. Gave you a story. This is what pro wrestling is all about. Thank you all for tuning in. Uh, like I said, I will be uploading all the matches um, on a later time. In a time that I feel like, you know, up uploading them. I uh, I really enjoyed this paper re event. And like I said, this is, uh, this is very therapeutic for me. At times when I've just got, you know, a lot on my mind and there's a lot going on you know with me this is very therapeutic and tonight was no exception so excuse me yes I really hope you guys um, enjoyed all the matches and uh, yeah I will continue to upload you know for as long as I can or you know whatever so um, yeah Hope you enjoyed and have a good night. Peace.